Okay, so the next step is the variant calling. So we will continue. We should have done alignment cleanup, but we are skipping that because that is not the focus of this tutorial. So take note of that. Ideally, you should do some cleanup and then some quality control, but um, we will leave that for another day. I have covered some tutorials where I showed how to perform quality control and how to also do alignment cleanup. So I will leave the links to those videos in the description box for you to check. So we will perform the variant calling. We will use BCF tools. So for BCF tools, we will call M, we, will, we will call BCF tools MPALA first, and then we are going to um, call the BCF tools call command also. So we have this first, and then we will have this. That's what we are going to do. So um, let's proceed. So we will go back to the Galaxy platform here and then do that. So when you are here, you have to search for BCF tools and Parallax. So let's search for it. So I say BCF tools and Parallax. So this will bring up the BCF tools and Parallax tool. If you don't see it here, just search and then you'll find it. So yeah, so this is it. So we should click it. Okay, so we have our BCF tools and Palap tool ready. So we will specify our parameters here. So we will start with this one here, the input file. We are going to use the one that was generated by UWMM. So that's this one here. So we already have it. If you don't have it, just click on this browse data set and select the appropriate file. Choose the source for the reference genome. Here, we will keep it at locally cached. Okay, locally cached. And then we will come here to select the reference genome. So let's click and select E. coli, the one we use for the mapping. So we should find it somewhere here. This one. So let's use this one. Okay, so after that, we'll look at another stuff here. Let's check on the index calling to see what is there. Okay, I think we will leave this input filtering. I think we will also leave this. But here you can do some filtering. Okay, so if you want to be stringent, you can change some of these options here but we will leave everything okay we want to use the default settings output type we will maintain the compressed bcf and then and that is it so let's execute this command okay so let's wait for bcf tools and palab to do its work so we can see that the job is running now Okay, BCF tools and Palab has completed its work. Let's move to the next activity. We are now going to issue the BCF tools call command to call the variants. So let's go back to the Galaxy page. So I will search for BCF tools call. So it should show up soon. You can also scroll down to check where it is. I see it here. This is BCF tools call. So I will click it. And then I will specify my data. I'm using the output from BCF tools and Palab. It has already been detec detected. It has, it has already been detected. So we will proceed. If you don't see, just come to this side, click, and then select the appropriate file. For the Consensus slash variant calling options, we will use multi allelic and array variant caller. Then let's scroll down, let's scroll down, and then come to file format options. Here we will select a ploid of one. So 
when we come to select predefined plugin, you use one. So we see one because here it's specified as one. So we will use the same thing here. That is what we have. Let's go down. Let's go down. I think so far everything is okay. The output type we have compressed BCF. We also have uncompressed BCF. So the output type, if you specify compressed BCF, then when you are done, you have to convert it to a VCF format so that you can use it um, for dance analysis, especially if you are going to use tools other than BCF tools to process it, then uh, you need to um, convert it to a VCF format. You can also use the uncompressed VCF format, uh, which you can also use in a later compressor. So it depends on what you want at the end of the day. If you use the uncompressed, that means your file is going to be large. So you still have to compress it. So that's about it. For this tutorial, I would like us to use the compressed BCF formats. So that's about it. So let's run this command. So we'll click on the execute button here. So let's do it. Okay, so BCF tools command has been initiated. So let's wait for it to complete its work. Okay, the BCF tools call command has been completed. And that is why we have this output here. So you can click it and you will see this text here. If you take a look at the format, it's BCF. That means that the file is in the BCF format. The size is 24.7 MB. It's very small. The small size is due to the fact that this file has been compressed. The output file here has been compressed. Remember, we selected compressed BCF as the output file type, and that is why this file has been compressed. And this makes it possible for us to quickly download the output file. What we are going to do next is to download the output file. So let's go to the download button here, this icon here. So you just hover your mouse and you see this text download. So that means we can use this button to download the output file. So click it and you will have two options. Either you download the data set or you download the BCF index. We will download both. The data set contains the variant information and the BCF index is the index file. So we will start with the data set. So click on download data set. Then let's download it. So I will name this as variant.raw.bcf. That will be the name. I will download the index file as well. I will say variant.raw.bcf.csi. That will be the name of the index file. Okay, so the files have been downloaded. So let's go and then check them. Okay, so these are the files. This is in the BCF format. If you are going to analyze this file using BCF tools, then you can leave it in this format. But if you are going to use other tools, then you need to convert this file into a VCF format. 